Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a challenge that many users encounter when working with Zare and Dask. Our viewer has a question about the slow conversion from a Dask array to a NumPy array. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the issue of slow conversion from a Dask array to a NumPy array. First, it's important to understand that Dask is designed for parallel computing, which can lead to performance differences when converting to NumPy. When you slice your data using the dot cell method, Dask creates a task graph for the computation. This is efficient for selecting data, but when you convert to a NumPy array, Dask has to execute all those tasks, which can be time consuming. To improve performance, consider adjusting the chunk size of your Dask array. Smaller chunks can lead to faster computations as they allow Dask to process data in smaller, more manageable pieces. You can also use the dot compute method before converting to a NumPy array. This will trigger the computation and return a NumPy array directly, which may help reduce the time taken. Finally, ensure that your Dask array is not too large for your available memory. If it is, consider using Dask's out-of-core capabilities to handle larger datasets efficiently. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When converting from Dask arrays to NumPy, remember that nothing is computed until you call np.array. Before that, only an abstract computation graph is created. To speed up the process, try setting a smaller chunk size when loading data from disk. For example, use chunks with latitude and longitude set to one. Dask is designed to optimize indexing, but there have been some recent issues. Check out the GitHub discussion for more details. I hope that video helped to find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.